Hey, Violin! And hey, Beto! And hey! Um, person Paimon doesn't know? Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed jade chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the jade chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we've brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ningguang is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Beto, you're joining the Jade Chamber Contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is... um... Sorry, I'm not sure we've met. Shenhe. I am their... friend. <laughs> good to meet ya. A friend of a friend is my friend too. Or, as I like to say, a mate of a crewmate is part of the crew. Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. Wow! So it looks like the three of us are competitors now! Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ningguang. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. What do you think? Sounds great, but how does that change things exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plostrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. Interesting approach. Okay then. All right. I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... 
We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later! Okay, let's go! By the way, what question are you gonna ask Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. Ooh, what's the opera called? Paima wants to go see it! The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Don't even think about getting in the way next time. Although, if you wanted to make yourself more useful, you could try wearing something a little more fun and festive, or pretend to be a ghost to entertain the kids, you know, liven up the atmosphere, I can't just... Uh, Yoimiya, they've already run off. Huh? Hey! I wasn't talking! 